This next part, we're going to talk about the tools needed to build this. Some of the backhoes that you want to build or others, they're, they're going to take a lot of expensive tools to build. I try, I'm trying to build this with basic shop tools, um, grinders, levels. I have a chop saw over here and a small welder. Let's go take a look at what I have. And this is what I'm going to be using to build it. Okay, let's go take a look at the equipment you're going to need to build this backhoe. Uh, I think that should that is probably the most important thing for somebody that's thinking about building one. You need to make sure you have the equipment needed. Let's go down and take a look at the welders. As you see, I have a few. I'm going to build this particular backhoe with this Hobart Handler 140. It is a 120 volt machine, so it will pl actually plug into a wall outlet. And I'm going to use it in the wire feed mode using flux core wire. It's, I believe it's a .030. I've done a lot of welding with it to get used to it before I start this project. And I, and I gotta say, this is a really slick little, little welder. It, it will do a little over, it says right on here, I think it goes a little over quarter inch. And um, I have pushed it. I have done three eighths and it did, and it gave me a really nice weld. And let's go to the next thing, since we are going to try to, we're going to use these tools to do it. Then we're going to come over here to a drill press. This is uh, an old Delta. I've had it for years. It's got a half inch chuck. It's a very basic one, but it does the job. You're going to be using this for drilling your 5 8 holes and some smaller holes. And this, this worked really well. Don't go any really any smaller than this, and you really should have a half inch chuck. And you'll notice here's my 5 8 inch drill bit. I use this for my pivot points and then a, the smaller drill bit for pilot holes and drilling smaller holes. There could be a few more. And don't forget you're going to have some hand tools in there like wrenches and stuff for tightening things. And that's going around here. Oh, here we go. We have a bench grinder. I use this a lot in building. I, I clean up my steel with it. And I have a, on this side here I have a wire wheel. We're, we're, that works really well. Swing around here. All right, we have a chop saw. I, I think this is really important to have. You could do it without it. You could use a, you know, like a sawzall, but this give, will give you good square clean cuts. And let's go over here to these tools. Um, hand drill, I would definitely use that. Uh, squares and levels, be using a lot of those. These are really important, these magnetic um, corner braces for while you're welding you're gonna this will give you good square um, corners and everything so that the back hole will come out square uh, tap and die I use that a little bit in some of the fabrication and this grinder here is a DeWalt four and a half inch I have used four inch but I, I seem to be getting better um, wheels and stones for the four and a half inch this is a new slick thing that I've gotten into using. It's a um, cutoff wheel. You could actually use this cutoff wheel on this grinder to build just about every part of the backhoe. I like the chop saw because it gives you a better square cut. And then here's a building level and a framing square. My table's level, so I'm able to actually use my table to do a lot of building with a level, and it comes out really nice.